welcome to the Cabinet Vision installation tutorial. Today I will be installing version 2021, but you can follow the steps in this video to install versions 11 onwards. First thing you will need is the install file download. Make sure you have the setup DVD files version of the install. Do not have the setup only files version because that will not work for a first time install. If you do not have the required files, you can email the help desk and we will provide you a link to download them. Once you have the correct install files, we need to do a few system checks. Firstly, we are going to go to the start menu and type in UAC for user account control settings. Going to open those up and make sure the slider is all the way at the bottom. Once we've done that, we hit OK and then we check for third-party antivirus. If you do have third-party antivirus installed, it's going to have a little icon down here. Uh, you will then need to right-click on it and pause protection. If you do have third-party antivirus and you are unable to disable it, it may be configured by your IT, uh, you will need to contact them to disable it for you before you inf begin the installation. Now we have that done, we right click on our setup DVD files and run as administrator. It will then ask us where we want to extract the install files. Now this is only the install files, not Cabinet Vision itself, and I'm going to decide to put it with the rest of my installs. So I'm going to put that in the C drive cabinet vision download folder and create a new folder called 2021.0.0.485. You can put these anywhere. It is just the install files, um, just so long as you know where they are. Once that's done, hit OK. You can see it creates my folder for me and begins to extract the files. This can take quite some time, so I will resume the video when that has completed. Okay, now that has completed, it will open up this launcher here. Uh, we don't want to use that, so we can just go ahead and hit exit. And you will notice that my folder now has the install files within it. Now we want to find the setup solid folder. Uh, depending on the version, it will have a different number at the end of it. But just as long as it goes so setup solid, and then find the setup exe with the green icon. Make sure you don't hit this one down here, you want to hit the green icon. Right click on that, go run as administrator, select your language, English Australia, and continue. Hit next, and then accept the license agreement. Now you need to decide where Cabinet Vision is installed. We highly recommend if you already have another system with Cabinet Vision installed, we put it in the same folder as that one. So I'm going to say that I have a laptop that already has Cabinet Vision installed in the Planet folder. I don't currently have a Planet folder, so I'll need to create one. So I'll go to my C drive. I will right click in some blank space and go New folder. I will call it the same name as the other folder, so planet, and then right click on it and go properties, security, edit, and add, and then type in everyone, and hit OK, and then tick full control. Go apply, OK and OK. Now we are ready to install into this folder. If you're going to use the default install location, you will need to go through and make sure that you follow the same process with the Cabinet Vision folder. Now I have the folder ready, I want to tell the installer to install into it, so I hit Browse, I find my C drive, I 
to scroll down until I find the planet folder. Did OK. Now we've done that, I can go next. We go custom install. Hit next. We do not install the network files. Uh, this will configure Cabinet Vision as a server, which is not what we want to do. If you are running a network install of Cabinet Vision with a shared database, we recommend you contact the help desk as the install process is very different. Uh, we always want to install S2M Center, even if you do not plan to use that key on this computer. Uh, we just find this solves a lot of problems in the future if we already have it installed. And if you do not use the features for XCRM, feel free to disable it. We go next. As we selected to install S2M, it will immediately begin installing that once it's finished cabinet vision. In this case, we can go ahead with the recommended settings. Now that's done, it's going to ask us to restart the computer. We do recommend you do this, but I'm going to skip that for now. And that's the install done. You can see if I go into the planet folder, I have the cabinet vision files installed. Just make sure before you try and load it, you restart the computer. Once that's done, you will need to license the product, which we have a tutorial for in this channel. Thanks for your time, and if you have any dramas, Feel free to contact the help desk.